Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to be doing the unboxing of the Russell Hobbs uh, Two-in-One Sandwich Maker. The model number for this is RST750M2S and it comes with some of the very unique features that are available in the Indian market. So we'll unbox this and we'll look at the build quality of this, we'll look at what are the different features of this as well. I've ordered this via an online site and I've got it at a very reasonable price. If we look at what are the uh, functionalities available for this particular uh, sandwich maker, it, it can do two slice grill sandwich, so it's not very big in size and will also have a look and I'll, I'll give you some things in comparison as well. It has got the non-stick coated plate, which I think is, is a must for any sandwich that you're making. It is thermostatically controlled and uh, if we talk about power, this is a 750 watt powered sandwich maker. So if we talk about uh, in terms of the price, the retail price you can see is written as 4495. That's the maximum retail price, but you get this for approximately 3000 to 3200 depending upon what season you are buying this in, as well as uh, what is the discount that is going on from the site that you are buying. This is a make in India product, is it the boxes, so, but Russell Hobbs is a, is a UK based uh, brand, right? And you can see over here, it's a UK's number one brand. That's what they say. Below over here, you can see the number, the contact number for the Russell Hobbs, and this comes with two year warranty, which is really great. Now, talking about the features on the top of the box, it has got two different ways how you can make the sandwiches. You have got a sandwich plate and you have a grill plate, and that is one of the unique features, which I thought really liked about uh, this particular sandwich maker and you also have cook and the ready light which is also one of the things that I have not usually found in many sandwich makers so let's now just open the box and see what's inside over here so as I open the box uh, this is supposed to be around 2.2 kg heavy let me just take it out so it's packed quite tight over here okay I've managed to take it out now and uh, the other thing that we have inside the box is we've got the instruction manual so we'll now have a look at uh, what the instruction manual is saying so there are some important safety instructions there are the features over here uh, which talks about again the sandwich plate the grill plate that we saw on the back as well so we'll keep this aside and let's have a look at this sandwich maker okay so what we got over here are a pair of plates so as i said that this toaster comes with detachable plates these are the grill plates and as you can see that they are coated they're teflon coated And here is the toaster uh, in front of us. So let's take it out. So this is made by, this is made with Bakelite and uh, this is supposed to be sturdy. There is a lock mechanism over here. At the top, it is, it feels like it is steel. And I think uh, when I bought it, I also had a look that uh, this is a steel combination along with back light and we can see that there are two lights one is a switch on light and the other is a ready light so what we see over here is uh, are the sandwich plates but let's have a look at how much big is this sandwich maker what is the length of this so as per the, the as per what's written on the box this should be 26 centimeter and we can see it is approximately yeah, 24, 25 centimeters is what you can say is the width of this. And if you talk about how much is, uh, it's over here, it's almost same 24 centimeter, right? And and that's about the, the size uh, of this particular uh, sandwich maker. So it's approximately 25 by 25 centimeter is the space that you will need uh, to keep it. If we have a look at the length of the cord, because again, that is another thing that people say that the cord is small or cord is long. If you look at the reviews of many different sandwich makers, that's one of the, I would say, most common feedback you will hear from, from the uh, people in terms of how the wire how, how much is the length of the wire because a number of people may not have a point nearer to their near to the place where they're keeping it so if I try to calculate the length so this is approximately 
uh, 60 centimeter is the length of the wire so you need to uh, just make sure that it is uh, the 60 centimeter is the length where, where it is your plug should not be farther than that and what you get is a three pin plug over here uh, of course i uh, i would recommend always to use a heavy powered plug uh, or or a switch because this is 750 watt power it is taking now to use it of course you need to plug in and we'll shortly plug this in as well but here the plates are and you can remove these plates and then you can use it on the back we can see that there is a uh, the configuration is written so the model number is written it's written two in one sandwich maker uh, the serial number is written as well and this is made in india there's a sticker over here that says that as well so looking about looking at the product you can take these plates out there's a button over here and there's a button over here so we need to press the button and pops and and this uh, plate pops out and what you can do is you can see the heating element is beneath over here you need to pop in the other okay i think i need to put this way and that's about it this gets plugged in and uh, this is this is very very useful because it is very convenient as well if you want to clean them a lot of people and in fact i also face a lot of problem when we had to clean our sandwich makers because you can't really um, take them to the to the washing area and if you try to wipe them sometimes the dust may remain so in this in this case you may want to simply just take it out and uh, just just clean them so here you go so this is the first time i'm operating it and it's quite nifty feature to use it's quite easy uh, if we talk about how far the the angle of the opening case goes it's approximately 105 degree i think i have not got uh, a d to measure that but uh, 90 degree would be somewhere like here and this seems to be going further than that uh, overall build quality seems quite good so if i uh, close this again the lock may be flimsy i don't know how long will this last but this seems okay and easy to to carry or uh, keep it somewhere else so that's about it let me just try to switch it on and see how this really works so let me bring in the power cord so i've brought a power cord and i've plugged this in let me just switch it on now and as we switch in you see that this right button this red light uh, comes up and uh, will now wait because this red light to should turn green and that would mean that this is ready uh, for usage so it's going to take some time we'll see how much time does it take but i'm expecting it would approximately take a minute minute and a half and then it should get started the as per the operation it says the red light indicates that the appliance is switched on which it is green light dictates that the toaster is ready to use and once the grilling is done the green light is turned off that means once it is green you are ready to use it and then uh, you can toast or grill whatever you want to i would always advise that first time whenever you are running a toaster or a heater always uh, do not cook food the first time around just let it burn uh so i just let's just let it run and you can see that the green light has come up and if i open it now uh, you should be able to see some some uh, some of the uh, hot uh, vapors that are coming over here so this means that this is ready and if i look at uh, the top it's it's just slightly warm it's slightly warm at the outsides but there's no uh, nothing over here it's kind of cold and that means that this is this is now ready for you to grill i've switched this off now so the best features of this is again as i said you get the replaceable plates over here which you can easily clean as well as you can you get two types of different plates and you can also carry it around uh, very easily it's quite compact unlike the other four a uh, slice sandwich maker so that's what i wanted to cover in video today if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos in the future we'll be back with another video soon till that time have a really great day and enjoy the life by cooking some great sandwiches